Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. A shout out to drone enthusiasts everywhere. Uh, and of course, as always, a shout out to my friends at the Drone Seekers. Uh, hey, so uh, the good old Mavic Mini. Uh, by now you probably saw my first flight. I was so excited when I got this yesterday uh, that I took it out to Heroes Park and, uh, and did a little test flight. So today, I am out at the Snake River Canyon, and that's where I really wanted to do the first flight with this little guy. I, I have enough confidence in DJI, I wanted to take it off and just send it out over the canyon here, the gorge. And uh, I, like I said, I was so excited to fly it yesterday that, uh, that I went out to the park. So, you know, all that said, uh, it's uh, proven itself. Or at least on that first flight to be a, a, a typical DJI <laughs> nice flying solid little bird the only thing that I had that was of any concern uh, is I had an interesting error while in, in sport mode that said uh, aircraft power insufficient now I uh, am not sure what that is however I did uh, uh, send a message to DJI support asking him about it asking him if it's something to be concerned with what it is why it's there etc and i have not heard back so i'll report back as soon as i hear that uh, but in the meantime we're going to take this guy and we're going to uh, go over the uh, snake river here and uh, and just look around we're going to take some pictures uh, and then uh, of course some video we'll go out there a ways uh, We'll bring it back in and and go through some of the intelligent uh, flight modes, the uh, you know the droney, the spiral, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just to see how they work. I mean, you know, we should probably uh, check them out, and this is a good spot to do it. As you can see, it's sunny out here right now. It's about 50 degrees. Uh, I just I just felt a little breeze just then, but uh, the the uh, the app says that it's about four or five mile an hour winds so really not much to speak of so I look forward to a good flight another thing to mention is and I'll fly over it well I see they just took off they just pulled out of the parking lot but when I pulled in to the parking lot there was a they were loading up a great big John Deere tractor with a mega mega industrial planter on the back so I assume that they were out here uh, trying to replant some of the uh, native species uh, but I didn't I'm looking around and I don't see exactly where they were working but uh, I wish I would have uh, been here a few minutes earlier I could have got some pictures of that but anyway no matter let's take the bird uh, up in the air okay so uh, one thing I just wanted to uh, show you real quick and hopefully the camera can capture this so I was pulling I wanted to pull the uh, old battery out that I'd used yesterday and put a fresh battery in and so there's a little I don't know if you can see the grooves on the top there, so you, you think you should just be able to pull on that. What it is, is there's a little push button down here. So hopefully you can see that right there. So if you push on that button and then pull, it pulls right out. And I know I've talked to people that have struggled getting the battery out of the bird, so uh, you just gotta push on that little button there. Okay guys, uh, so it looks like we're ready to take off. I'm noticing one thing, the battery's at 98%. It was fully charged, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, as you can see, I have the, uh, the bird uh, sitting on top of the case. I forgot to bring my uh, landing pad with me, so I thought we'd take off on the case. And, and maybe, uh, maybe I'll try a hand catch when we, when we bring it back in. Not sure, I'm a little leery of hand catching on something that I'm not used to, but we'll see how that goes. Plus, I don't think it'd be a problem landing it on this gravel. I don't think it uh, would get that particularly dirty, but let's go in and check. And uh, there again, that auto return to home is only at 15 meters. So I noticed that you have to reset that every time. So I like it high, so I've got it at 45 meters. Uh, the altitude's 120, that's where we want it. Uh, yeah, two kilometers is set for the max distance. That's as far as I need to go. I can tell you that. Uh, so just have to remember. I'd, I'd be interested to hear from from uh, other uh, users of the of the Mavic Mini. Are you having to reset that return to home altitude every time, like I am? I or is there something that I need to do to permanently set it? What am I doing wrong there? If anybody knows, please let me know. Uh, anyway. 
takeoff permitted, mode P, I don't see anything, we're, we're in 2.7K, let's double check that, 2.7K, 30 frames per second, that's right where we want to be, uh, gosh, 14 satellites, takeoff permitted, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's start video, so we can see the takeoff from the very start, and I'm holding down uh, takeoff on the app, bird fires up yeah now uh, that was kind of interesting uh, you know the I had it sitting on top of the uh, of the case there and the case was at a little bit of an angle so it kind of slid sideways a little bit when it took off I, I was a little concerned that it would slide into that uh, patch of uh, sagebrush there but anyway looks like we're good and we're recording uh, there's a little bit of a breeze the aircraft is moving around just a little uh, but I'm going to pick this camera up just a little bit and uh, gosh, I see no reason why we shouldn't just uh, head out over the side of the, uh, of the canyon here. So let's get some altitude and go. Man, I'll tell you what, this Snake River is beautiful. It, I, I just, every time I see this, it's just breathtaking. I'm gonna drop the camera down here for that rule of thirds. And let's just kind of go kind of by the side of the, uh, the edge of the rim here. I'm yawing just a little bit there. We're gonna stay along the side of it. Yeah, gosh, what a beautiful day today. <clears throat> and and the, the bird, this is this thing is just, uh, it's just like what you would expect out of a DJI product. I mean, it, it's just smooth, easy to control. Uh, beginners are going to have no problem with this at all. So we're out about half a click already. It doesn't take long. Kind of interested to see if uh, if any of the other raptors will be uh, interested in this little guy. I don't I don't think so. I've never been bothered. I've flown a lot of drones out here, and I've never been bothered by uh, any of the hawks or uh, or other uh, falcons or other raptors out here. They, in fact, they just absolutely pay no attention to it. Yeah, man, that is just. <laughs> Oh, this is some great stuff. So the good old Snake River Canyon. I think I've talked about this on other videos, but uh, you know, it's it's erosion, but it was also uh, there was in Utah ten thousand years ago. There was a lake called Lake Bonneville, and there was a, a natural earthen dam. Uh, that created that lake and that dam broke loose and all of that water came heading down the Snake River Plain and uh, created a lot of the, the erosion uh, that, that uh, created the Snake River Gorge here and it's funny I guess there's there's boulders and stuff uh, that are from way further away that you find here uh, in, the, in the Snake River Gorge that rolled all the way down That must have been a bunch of water. Yeah, weak, weak signal, so we're about, you saw that, we're about uh, 1.2 clicks out, so. We've got a straight shot at it, so I, I feel pretty good about uh, taking it out of ways. And this, obviously, it's a Wi-Fi bird, so that says a lot about what this thing can do. Okay, I'm gonna pause here for just a second. And uh, and yeah, now we're getting that weak signal again. So we're stopped, I'm gonna stop video. And I'm gonna, <laughs> Ron Brown always bugs me. He says, I don't take enough pictures and he's absolutely right. Uh, I tend to be kind of video centric and I forget to use the camera. So we're gonna go into photo mode uh, right here and uh, 
Yeah, let's just let's just take some pictures. So there's one. Yeah, weak signal. It's uh, it's probably out there as far as you'd want to go. And that said, you know, I'm almost one and a half clicks out there. Why? I'll be honest with you. There's not very many situations that you would need to fly the bird this far. So I'm going to yaw around here. You guys are going to see it on the screen recording I have. And uh, let's take some pictures of the side of the canyon here. We'll continue yawing around. Yeah, it's, it, it's occasionally giving me that weak signal message. We'll bring it back here in a second. The nice thing about DJI is what you know is that it will go into return to home if it loses signal. Okay, I am going to kind of move forward here and see if we can get a little closer to the side of the canyon. And I will uh, drop the gimbal just a little. Yeah, there's that weak signal. Let's take a picture here at the side of the canyon. Okay, I'm going to go back in. Uh, well, let me, let me take that back. Let's yaw back towards where we're at. Take a look at the canyon there. Isn't that something? The side of that uh, the canyon. Let's take another picture there. That's a nice picture. Okay, so this is back. Uh, heading back towards us so we'll bring the bird home here uh, I don't know let's let's try gosh okay I'm gonna start video here again video has started and uh, as we move back towards us let's see if we can uh, maybe get a picture of the side of that canyon. And still bring the bird back towards us. Yeah, and it's giving me the weak signal, but as it gets closer, I'm sure that'll get better. little different view than we've had in the past so we are flying sideways at eight meters per second it's interesting to see the terraces on the side of the of the canyon there uh, I wish I was a geologist I could explain that to you I, I don't know if that is just different stages of erosion or, or how those terraces were created but it's uh, it's sure interesting to look at that's for sure And as you can see, we're getting we're getting closer to home. 67% battery. This thing has got great battery life. So that's me yawing it around there a little bit. Getting a more direct look. I'm gonna drop just a little altitude. We're at 28 meters. I, I, I don't want to go over the side of the canyon be too much because uh, I don't want to lose uh, uh, the Wi-Fi connection, but that might be kind of interesting. Okay, I'm going to drop the gimbal down here just a little bit so you can kind of see the whole kind of the big picture of where we're at. And so what you're looking at there is a trail, uh, or actually, that's actually a road at the bottom of the uh, of the canyon. I'll, I need to go down there one of these days and uh, and fly from down there. But let's pick the camera back up. And I can hear the birds, so it got to be pretty close to where we're at yeah there we are 
Can you see the, uh, you can see the wall there on the side of the canyon? Okay. Let's do this. Let's go full stick forward. And here she comes. It's quiet. You know, this thing is so much more quiet than other, uh, other drones that I've flown. Sorry about that quick yaw there. I'm gonna gain a little altitude. So that's the parking area there, and that's where the uh, the, the two. Uh, I'm gonna slow down here a little bit. That's where the, the they were loading the, the tractor. They had a tractor, and they had an industrial-sized planter there. And you can see here, you know, I pointed that out the last time I was out here where they're doing some planting, trying to plant some native sagebrush back here again. You can see them down there. See those, uh, those, those uh, where, they, where they've got them staked out and planted. But that planter that they had, you know, th these would have been hand planted. So I don't know what that thing was or where they were at with it. But, but they were clearly doing some work with it out here. Or did they just stop here to load it up maybe? I, I don't know. Looking at this area right here. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, this is what they were doing. Look, this is where they were planting. So, I shoot, I wish I would have asked them. Look, you can see where that planter, uh, the furrows, where the planter was uh, was planting. So they clearly, you know what I'm thinking, guys? They're going to expand this area out. Look at this. I'll bet you there's more to this than we know. Yeah, gosh, I wish I'd have asked them what they were doing. Yeah, this is where they were at. So are they going to expand this area out here and create some kind of visitor center or something? I wonder. Who knows? Ah, looks like I got an Amazon delivery. You know what's interesting about that is I shut off notifications, and that still showed up on the, on the screen there. Okie dokie. Yeah, let's pick the camera back up a little bit. Plenty of battery. Yeah, let me take you across the road here for a little bit. So, <clears throat> when we were out here last spring, you saw all of this stuff was just solid green. And, uh, and now, of course, uh, not so much. It's, uh, it's definitely dried out. It is for sure winter time, although I got to tell you, today sure feels like summer. You know, we're in P mode, uh, 8 meters per second, which is about, uh, I don't know, 18 or 19 miles an hour. You know, that feels like a pretty good speed. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the boogie. I'm going to grab a little altitude and uh, let's head back. Aircraft power insufficient, and that was in P mode that time and so so I was full stick forward full pitch forward and uh, then uh, as, as soon as I started uh, giving it throttle to gain altitude uh, that's when we got that message so interesting so we'll have to see what DJI says about that but definitely I would say when you see that message definitely get off the throttle a little bit there is no point in pushing it that is the bird definitely trying to tell you something. So let's follow this little road out here. I, I, I think that's the one where there's the little, uh, we, we saw the little uh, uh, kind of compass on the ground. Yeah, there it is. Whoops, sorry, I yawed just a little hard there. Yeah, I'll, I'll slow down as we go over this. And I hear an aircraft up behind me. So I'll definitely keep an eye on him. Of 
Yeah, and I think it said, I love you, Mom, there. So that is pointing due north, I believe. It's kind of interesting. I think the Boy Scouts or something did that. Yeah, there's an aircraft, guys. I'm, I have eyes on him, so we're good. But he is below the, uh, the level of the gorge here. So, you know, that's why you got to pay attention. You know, that's an area that I fly quite a bit, so... That's why you got to be on the lookout. And there he is. I am, uh, I'm sorry guys, I just have the drone paused. I am not going to take my eyes off that aircraft. Let's see. He might be, I'm going to yaw around here. Okay, he's well beyond us now. So, so that's good. But uh, I just uh, I paused there because uh, he was low enough and slow enough that uh, I wanted to make sure I knew where he was at. So remember, as a UAV pilot, you have to give way to manned aircraft. Period. End of report. You know, we could argue about whether. Uh, he, you know, was, he should be flying at that altitude or whatever. I, I don't care. The FAA says you yield to manned aircraft, period. So we'll get out in the middle of the gorge here. And this wasn't far from where that guy was, was flying at. I keep looking at the Canon camera because it it stops recording after a while uh, because uh, when the file reaches a certain size. Yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little peek as I go out this way. You'll be able to see uh, the Swan Falls Dam in the distance. And we have talked about the Swan Falls Dam before. There it is, you can see it off in the distance there. In fact, I think this is a pretty darn good picture. I think we ought to stop and take some pictures here. So we're gonna stop recording. And we are gonna go, ah, low battery return to home. So I am going to start recording again. Yeah, so it's, it's turning around. Okay, start recording. So that was at 29% battery, or roughly 30%. So I assume uh, the, uh, the the algorithm, uh, you know, looked at that and said, "Hey, it's it's time to come back." So let's see how she does here. We'll take a look at it. If I feel like I can. Uh, if I can, if I feel like I can safely hand catch, I will. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to get uh, too carried away. Discretion is the better part of valor. <laughs> yeah, it's coming home at about uh, yeah eight meters per second, so just about full throttle. We're still a ways away. We're still about half a click away. Man, this is just beautiful stuff. I'm dropping the gimbal there just a little bit so you can get a little bit more of a view of the uh, side of the, the Snake River Canyon or Snake River Gorge, whatever you want to call it. And you can see where we're at there. You can see that whole complex. You would hate to fall off the edge of that, I can tell you. you. That would be a really bad day. Yeah, low battery returning home, you betcha. Down below 20%, it gives us a red battery there. So, you know, 19%. So, we're, you know, we made it home with plenty of battery. I don't know how long we flew there, but... Yeah, 
I mean, we flew around a lot. It was a good long flight. Uh, let me tell you, much more than you would get with the, uh, uh, with like the Hubson Zeno. It's funny when it's coming down right on top of you, you can't see it. Okay, there it is. Alrighty. I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's just gonna land right in the gravel here. I'm just gonna let it land. And it picked up the camera on its own. Didn't pick up a lot of dirt. Okay, the bird is looking at the camera, the camera is looking at the bird. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. Uh, shut everything down, and uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, put another battery in, and then we'll, we'll just mess around a little bit and try some of the, uh, uh, some of the other uh, uh, flight modes. Uh, quick shots, I couldn't think of the word quick shots, so that's what we're going to try. So yeah, let's just shut it down here. I, I, I hate having the, the switch on the bottom of the bird. Okay, <clears throat> looks like we're uh, connected here. It says take off permitted. As you can see, I just set the bird uh, on the, on the uh, gravel here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be kicking up too much dust, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, let's uh, start recording. And we will take off. And I like the circle. You hold your finger on the circle. As soon as it closes the circle, the bird takes off. Yeah, so. Looks like we're looking good. Again, that battery is showing 98%. Uh, and that was, a, uh, that was a new battery. Got a little bit of a breeze that just kicked up here. So there we are. It's, uh, so the, the, the bird is looking south right into the sun. But then hopefully you can see what a beautiful day it is. Let's kick it up and go back just a little. Okay, we're going to stop right there and let's uh, let's go into uh, uh, some of the quick shots. If we have enough time, where I tried was going to get that picture earlier uh, when the when this, when we had the when the bird went into return to home, we will try that again. So I'm going to stop recording, and uh, then we will go into quick shots. And uh, that is a droney. Let's uh, shoot. Saying, let's try a helix. Is that that's the four that we have? Yeah. So let's try a helix. Let's make it as big as we can make it. Max radius that says. So I am going to. Uh, I might be too far away there. Now maybe not. Well, let's try that again. Yeah, so we're going to hit start. Yep, looks like it's working and it's centering on me. So we've done this with uh, with DJI birds before. Uh, I like doing it here because it you know you get to see the side of the the uh, the, the canyon there. I always thought that that's pretty spectacular. So and of course it'll go over the canyon here. That's pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. And here comes that aircraft again, or I hear him. Oh yeah, he's really low. Okay, I see him, but I'm telling you, he is low in the canyon. I am going the, the other way. Well, no, he's well below us. 
I'm telling you guys, let me see if I can get a picture of this. Yeah, there you can see him there. Look, I mean, look at how low he is in the canyon. I'm telling you. That is why you have to pay attention. So let's see. So I realized that all you're going to see that on is the screenshot because I didn't have recording started. But uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> pay attention when you're flying these things. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I had eyes on that guy, and I could see that we were way away from him, but uh, but he was hauling the mail. He was going fast, and he's down in the canyon. So, uh, anyway, interesting stuff. And I think that was a different aircraft. I, I, I couldn't tell for sure, but it looked like it was a different color. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's bring this guy. Uh, yeah, I turned away from the bird. That's why it said RC signal lost. Let's bring it back towards us here. Okay, so that was a helix. Let's just uh, let's just do a circle. And doesn't look like there's any other parameters that you set on a circle. So I'd say we're probably good to go there. We could actually we could probably lower it and bring it in a little bit closer. So this will be a pretty, uh, fairly close circle. So you can see it's got the, gives the plus mark right on me there. Well, it did. Yeah. So we're going to hit start. And it gives us the countdown. And it starts kind of slow and easy. I like that. And it, uh, what's funny is, is it's smooth. I wish you guys could see the, I wish I had a, a hat cam or so you could see the bird because it, it was tilted pretty far sideways. Oh, that was kind of interesting. Okay, it's done. So let's go back in to, we did a circle, let's do a rocket. So uh, let, we're gonna set max on that one too. And if I understand it correctly, it will come above me and then shoot straight up, I believe. Okay, we hit start. It's counting down. Sorry, I, my fumble fingers, I had a little bit of a hard time there. Yeah, so basically it's raising up and then it keeps the camera right on the subject the whole time. I like the way with DJI the aircraft returns to its starting point. And it says right on there returning. And look it picks the camera back up and everything. That is that is nothing but cool. I'm going to say okay. So uh, so let's do the drony. And uh, I did one of those uh, yesterday but Let's see, let's uh, start. And I like the way it starts slowly and then picks up speed. So my hope is, is that we'll see DJI add features to this little guy. Uh, it, it would be kind of nice to have a follow me function. And there again it's done, so it's returning back to its spot, which I think is really cool. Okay, so we are going to go back in there and we are going to go back to uh, video. And we're going to start video. and. Uh, we're going to go back over the side of the canyon, and I want to go back out there and take a picture uh, where, we, uh, where we were before. Um. 
there again let's kind of let's kind of hug the side of the canyon here you know I think that's one thing to keep in mind uh, I'm just thinking I my mind keeps going back to that uh, that aircraft that we saw you know when it's a nice sunny day like this we're out flying our drones uh, you know guys that are flying private planes are out flying their planes too uh, I guess if I'm a private pilot I think it'd be pretty cool to uh, shoot down the middle of the uh, Snake River Gorge so you know you can't blame those guys and like I said the FAA tells us they have the right of way so pay attention although as light as this little uh, <laughs> this little bird is I wonder if it would uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, you, you got it. You guys that haven't got one of these minis yet, you, you're going to be amazed when you pick it up. I, everybody is. You know, you look at every reviewer, and they go, they go, "Wow, I just it just wasn't prepared for how small and light it was," and and, and you're not. I'm just telling you, you get one, you're going to go, "Holy cow!" Okay, so we're kind of coming around the corner there, where we're going to where. We're gonna, so what I'm going to try and do is frame. Uh, the side of the the uh, cliff face here uh, with the dam so I think what I need to do is kind of go out a little bit and we'll slowly yaw around and it's coming into view so there is the dam you can see the dam right there so let's stop here. I'm going to stop uh, recording and we are going to go into uh, photo. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a picture. I like that. And then, uh, and then let's move forward. I don't know if you guys could hear that boom on the camera. They're definitely doing some uh, demolition here someplace. That's at first I thought that was a shotgun or something, but it's more than that. They're, they're doing some kind of uh, dynamiting or something. Some sort of construction would be my guess. So let's move in here a little bit. Let's see if we can get another picture. Get a little bit closer. Gosh, we're out there about a kilometer. Man, I would say that is a pretty good framed shot. So now you guys that are real photographers, tell me if I should pick the gimbal up just a little bit for the rule of thirds, but I, I like the side of the canyon. So we're gonna take that picture. Then we'll pick the camera up just a little bit so you get a little more sky. And we're gonna try that again. And then let's again, let's, uh, let's move out into the center of the canyon. And try it once more. Okay, there's another one. So then let me, uh, I'm gonna center the dam in the, in the middle of the picture here. I, you know, like I said, you guys that are the photographers tell me if that's the correct way to do it, but, okay, so now we have the dam itself centered in the, in the picture what's cool about that and I, I probably told you this before so where, where that dam is there's a park uh, and then that dam was built in the early 1900s and you can actually there's a new part and an old part you can actually tour the old part that they built in the early 1900s and it's interesting to see what was high-tech in those days and it was built to, uh, to power the silver mines up here in the Hawaii mountains. I'm going to point towards them here. Yeah, you can't really see them. It's kind of, we got a little bit of haze going on. Let me, uh, let me go back in and start video. So anyway, yeah, there's a little bit of haze and you can't really see it, but the Hawaii mountains off in the distance, there were silver mines out there. And uh, at the turn of the century, and of course, everybody was trying to make their fortune. I'm telling you though guys, I'm telling you, I'm about out about a click now and this thing is uh, is just phenomenal for the uh, for a Wi-Fi drone. Sure has the range. And 
and there's the side of that cliff face. We're down to 50% battery. Let's bring it back here a little. I'm going to drop the gimbal somewhat, and let's just kind of follow this. Let's follow it back this way. And what you see there is, is a road that was built some years ago, and who knows? I have no idea the history of that. I mean, you can't get to it now, but obviously it was a trail that was built, God knows, at, at the, at the uh, turn of the uh, 19th century probably. I, I just don't know. But can you imagine those guys hauling all of that heavy, heavy uh, equipment for that dam out? I mean, you know, you didn't have internal combustion engines. And I mean, I guess you had steam, so, but I don't, maybe they built some kind of a, a, a railway out to bring that stuff out. I, I honestly don't know, but I can tell you, uh, whatever they did back then was 10 times harder than it is now. Just beautiful country and, and uh, you know the colors really come out when you we were pointed into the sun there obviously now with the sun behind us man oh man just really something well we will bring the bird back in here and uh, just bring it in for a landing and uh, we'll call this a good day it was just a freaking beautiful day to be flying and I assure you guys that one of these days I'm gonna go down in there into the canyon and we'll do some flying from down there you can drive down in there and you see I don't know you guys have seen people fishing down there and stuff in the past we've seen jet boats going down the Snake River there Drop a little altitude here. Bring it right over the top of us. It is a quiet little bird, I'm telling you. And into the sun again. I, uh, you know, I get silent once in a while because I'm, <laughs> I'm just enjoying the beauty of this place. And there we are. You can see the little, uh, the little. Uh, fence that they built there, or the little uh, retaining wall. Okay, let's bring it in here. Wonder if you could hand catch it. So I wonder if I put my hand under here. Yeah, so it tries to go up. Yeah, so you'd have to hold it down. I gotta tell you guys, I'm just not so I'll get it up here where you can see it here. So watch when I uh, when I put my hand underneath, it picks it up. I just uh, I'm, I'm not comfortable enough. I mean, I suppose you could grab it. I don't know. Yeah, see, every time I get my hand under there, and I'm just not, I'm just not going to do that, so. Let's bring her down here, and, uh, and we'll bring it in for a landing. Yeah, 
got a nice spot on the uh, on the gravel here and we will just set her down So you guys see that notification on my screen there? I I got I've got I thought I had notifications off. I don't know. It's weird how it does that. 25% battery landing, so we did good. Let's shut off video. And uh, yeah, let me uh, let me get the bird shut down and everything put away here, and uh, we will do a quick conclusion and uh, kind of go over our flight here today. Hey, okay, guys. Uh, Wow, was that fun. We went through a couple of batteries. This is an amazing little drone. And, you know, it's I, it just, for traveling, this thing is just going to be uh, amazing because it's so small and so easy to carry. Uh, and, man, it just it's just feather weight. And you saw what we did out there over the canyon. just takes freaking phenomenal video. Uh, I'm anxious to take a look at the pictures when we get back and and see how those pictures look but uh, geez it's just uh, just nothing but pure fun uh, and a very capable bird so hopefully you enjoyed some of the scenery uh, we did try out all the quick shots so you saw those of course we're all pretty familiar with those any of us that fly DJI birds are very familiar with those quick shots but it did them all flawlessly and and worked really well uh, you know, we had a little bit, uh, you know, we had to pay attention to some aircraft today, which was fine. We were, we were way out of harm's way, but uh, like I said, every time I see that, it reinforces to me how important it is for all of us to pay attention. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't even know, I don't even know what more I can say. Oh, we did, at one point, we got the, uh, the, the aircraft power insufficient, and that was just in P mode that time. Yesterday when I was doing it, it, it was always in sport mode. So I'll be interested to hear back from DJI and see what they have to say about that. But it's always when you're in full power position. So when I got it this time, I was, I was full pitch forward and I was full throttle up on ascent. And I very briefly got that, uh, that warning on there. So, you know, it's very easy to stop it. You just let off the throttle and, and, and you're good. And I would definitely heed those warnings, uh, but uh, it's just just kind of interesting, something that I wasn't quite, uh, well, I'm not going to say I wasn't prepared for it, because I was, because I saw it yesterday, but, uh, but it was interesting. Uh, in any case, uh, gosh, I guess that's about it. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel, out. And if you like this kind of content, Please subscribe to my channel, and most of all, I thank you for taking the time to look at this video. And, uh, hey, you know, uh, lots of fun here, guys. I, uh, I really, uh, I can, for uh, buying this thing, I've got to fly more for 500 bucks. I just don't know how you can go wrong with this guy. Uh, we will see you on the next one. Mavic Mini right there. Bye now.